Hello friends, this is Subhash Jadav. Let me welcome you all in the lecture series for Assistant Motor Vehicle Inspector Examination. Here, we discuss about probable objective type multiple choice questions. Today, we are going to discuss about ignition system. So, let us start. The first question is, the commonly used material for insulator of a spark plug is. So, here, uh, Generally, uh, we will be require requiring a hard material with a high dielectric strength and a high resistance to spark tracking with a high mechanical uh, strength. So uh, here, um, we, the, all these particular properties are there with this particular alumina material. Uh, so here, this uh, uh, sintered alumina is generally preferred. So this particular alumina is there in between the a central electrode and the uh, earth electrode. So these are the two electrodes and in between these two, the function of this is to uh, act as an insulation. So electric insulation is provided with using this particular uh, insulator. Uh, it has to be very hard because uh, it has to sustain the mechanical vibrations coming because this part is connected to the engine. Uh, thermal stresses are also there. So it has to take care of that then uh, it requires a high dielectric strength and uh, so uh, all these properties are there with the alumina copper is obviously soft material which cannot uh, uh, it is not possible to work as a it is a metal it is not an insulator uh, these are the insulators but uh, they cannot uh, they are not strong enough to take this particular stresses and therefore alumina is found to be the best option uh, in this particular case next uh, Question is voltage developed to strike spark in spark plug is in the range of so uh, the uh, the options are six to twelve thousand to two thousand twenty thousand to twenty five thousand and none of the above so let us see uh, why a spark is required and uh, here uh, how come the voltage uh, variation is there so basically we know that uh, battery supplies the voltage uh, required energy to the ignition system so battery supplies around 12 volts so the input given will be of 12 volt and uh, here we have what we call as a spark plus to produce the spark to burn the mixture we know that we have one what we call as a homogeneous mixture inside the engine and uh, in order to burn that particular mixture um, it has to uh, provide the spark of a uh, temperature around uh, 280 to 300 degrees. So uh, that much uh, temperature has to be produced because the self ignition temperature of the um, uh, fuel that is petrol is uh, in that particular range. So the nucleus has to pro provide or uh, provided of that particular temperature and in order to ensure that that much temperature is being produced by the nucleus uh, spark over here. Uh, we need a very high intensity spark and uh, the intensity of the spark depends on what so here you can see this is your uh, gap over here the uh, supply is coming through the central electrode and it has to jump across this now we know that in between this two we have air but it is a bad conductor of electricity and therefore uh, a huge uh, or a higher value of uh, potential that is the voltage will be required to make the supply jump across this particular gap and higher the gap higher will be the voltage required which uh, the relation is seen over here so as the gap increases the voltage required uh, to uh, uh, break this particular gap or jump across this particular gap will be higher and therefore uh, as per the required intensity of the spark we what we do is we increase the gap to such an extent that intensity of the uh, spark produced will be higher but uh, in order to make this particular uh, uh, supply jump across this particular gap, we have to uh, provide a higher potential, which is of voltage. And you know the amount of voltage required will be very high, which is of 20,000 volts to 25,000 volts. So uh, because uh, this much potential will be uh, required, uh, because the gap has to be maintained in such a manner to a higher value, uh, greater than 0.3 mm. To around 0.7 mm the, that much gap has to be provided and to jump across such a gap uh, that requires a high voltage of this particular value so that is how the correct answer is c so the next question is 
uh, the following effect of voltage required to jump over the gap of spark plug. So, uh, what affects the uh, gap, jumping of the uh, supply ac across the gap? That is the question. So, uh, different parameters affecting. So, the options given are sh shape of the electrode, then the conductivity of the ga gases, fuel air mixture ratio, and all of the above. These are the options. Now here, uh, very clearly seen, uh, here with this particular shape, it is difficult for discharge, while with this particular shape, the discharge is easy. That is, the jumping of the uh, spark will be easier with such shape. That means the shape of the electrode is going to affect. The conductivity of the gas is going to, uh, in, in the gap, Obviously, whatever gas is there in between these two electrodes is obviously going to affect because conductivity or electrical conductivity parameters are going to play a role over here. So, the conductivity of the gas is obviously going to affect. Fuel air mixture ratio existing in the gap. Uh, we also know that as the air fuel uh, mixture ratio changes, the properties of the mixture, uh, the gas in between this two is going to change and obviously that is also going to affect. And therefore, the correct answer becomes all the about D, that is shape is going to affect, the conductivity is also going to affect and the air fuel mixture is also going to affect the voltage required to jump uh, over the gap of the spark plug. The next question is in SI engine to obtain required firing order. So, uh, as we know, uh, the secondary of the uh, ignition coil gives the high voltage required, that is around 20,000 uh, 20, volt and above. It comes over here to the uh, distributor rotor, and with this particular uh, um, rotating uh, rotor, uh, when contacts with this particular uh, point of the cap, rot uh, distributor cap, this particular spark plug is going to be fired. Then. Uh, then when it uh, comes over here, when it rotates and comes over here and makes a contact with this, this particular spark plug is going to fire. Then here this. So here we can see the first point is connected to one, then uh, it is connected to third, then it is connected to fourth, and then it is connected to two. So the firing order becomes one, three, four, two. So the uh, who is doing this particular work of uh, uh, ensuring the required firing order? It is the distributor rotor and the distributor cap. So the distributor installed uh, is installed to ensure that the required firing order is ensured. Battery is uh, there to supply the amount of energy required. Carburetor is installed uh, outside the ignition system. It does not a part of ignition system. It supplies the air fuel mixture. Ignition coil is there. Uh, in the ignition system but it, uh, its function is to work as a uh, transformer to step up the voltage. So the correct answer is B, distributor is installed in a uh, ignition system of SI engine to obtain the required firing order. Next question is uh, battery ignition system. Uh, so some parameters or some advantages of uh, battery ignition system I mentioned over here. Occupies more space, uh, advantages or disadvantages. Uh, so here you can see there are so many components, a battery, a big bulky battery is there, then we have an ignition coil, then we have a contact breaker, condenser assembly, then we have a distributor arrangement, then we have different spark plugs, so many components are there and obviously they will be consuming space, so occupies more space is correct, has all, sorry, more maintenance problem. So here we uh, have so many maintenance problems related to battery, then different moving parts are there like uh, uh, we have a contact breaker wearing out, here there is going to be some problem, the spark plugs are going to wear out, carbon deposits are going to be there, spark plug foul fouling is going to be there, so many problems are there. So the amount of problem uh, are many, um, so the maintenance is a big problem with the battery ignition system. Then third is, is commonly employed in four wheeler. So uh, earlier we used to have the magneto ignition system used in a vehicle, but it has some disadvantages and due to which nowadays we are using battery ignition system preferably because battery can supply a continuous 12 volt supply to the ignition system as per requirement. And therefore battery ignition system is preferred over magneto ignition system and therefore it is used in four wheelers nowadays, all the four wheelers. So the correct answer becomes all the above, that is it occupy more space, more maintenance problems are there and they are used in all the four wheelers. Uh, next question is in magneto ignition system. Uh, so here we are comparing it with the magneto ignition system with the battery ignition system. No battery is required. Obviously here 
uh, we have what we call as a magneto which is a generator which pr produces electricity so this particular uh, magneto produces electricity this is your primary this is your secondary so uh, this is your contact breaker and a capacitor assembly and from here secondary it is given to spark plug so no battery is required so obviously no battery because uh, the magneto is supplying the electricity so the battery is not required engine starting is rather difficult so this is one of the problem with the magneto ignition system that is engine sta starting is a problem why engine starting is a problem because we know that uh, the emf is induced in the uh, windings of the magneto now uh, when the speed of the engine is less the rotary speed of this particular rotor is also less and when the rotary speed of the uh, rotor is less uh, the emf induced is less in uh, in the winding of the magneto so that results in a weak spark coming through the at the spark plug so uh, when the weak spark is there that is when the uh, engine is being started obviously the speed is less and that results in a weak spark which makes the engines uh, difficult to start. So uh, this is also true that engine start is rather difficult. Then it is used in high speed engines. Obviously it can be used in high speed engines because when uh, during high speeds, the magneto is going to rotate at a very high speed and as the speed increases, the EMF increases and the intensity of the spark also increases. So there is no problem at all if it, this is used in a high speed engines and uh, therefore it is very well suitable for high speed engines. So um, all the three options, no battery is required is correct. Engine starting is difficult is correct. Used in high speed engines uh, can be used very well in high speed engines uh, is also correct. So the correct answer is D all the above. In magnetic engine system, the correct answer is all the above. Thank you.